You know, I'm not seeing anybody. I'm not hanging out with anybody. I have no friends. Welcome back to the vlog. It's Sunday, December the 5th, I believe. And I do not teach today, but I do have a few deadlines for some brand deals. So got up this morning, cleaned the cat litter, felt disgusting after, showered. And you might think, well, Jasmine, why would you shower before your brand deal is literally a workout? And to that I say, because I felt like I had cat pee all over me. So that was this morning. We had some friends over last night, Saturday night, so I slept in a little bit this morning because my friend left around like 2 a.m. and then Steve got up at 5 a.m. to go hunting. That's where he is now. So I thought this morning's the perfect time to get some content shot and brand deals done and some chores done while I have nothing other than, the, well, I, when I have nothing today. You know, I'm not seeing anybody. I'm not hanging out with anybody. It sounds like I have no friends. Anyways. So, but I love those kinds of days, Sundays, where you just get to do whatever you want. Yesterday I taught at the studio as well, and I finished around 2.30 and I went to Costco right after. And let me tell you, going to Costco on a Saturday is the worst idea. It was so busy. Chaos. Now because this brand deal, I have to dance in it, I'm trying to think, is it better if I leave my hair wet and do a bun? And then it just looks like I have a slick ballet bun? Or is it better if I wait for it to dry and then I can put it in a cute clip and then take it down? I think I'm gonna leave it wet and just slick it back. So it looks like I used gel or something. I've been having so much fun with content lately and with brand deals because it is the season, consumer season, right? So it's been a lot more work than I'm used to, especially since I just started doing more YouTube, TikTok and Instagram, but it's been so fun. And it's with brand, brands I genuinely resonate with. I had to say no to a lot. It was kind of overwhelming. I'm not trying to sound like, oh my God, I have so many people sliding in and like asking me to promote this thing because I'm so famous. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like once you get a certain following, let's say you get 10,000 even, when you get a certain following on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, you start getting a bunch of brands being like, hey, because you're a small creator, we'd love to give you free stuff to promote. And they love to do that because when you're starting out, you kind of have to roll with that. You have to, you know, take the free deals. But the more you grow, the more you realize, wow, my services should be monetized and I should be paid for them because you're working, right? I treat content creation as a job now. And it's been great because now it's been able to pay some bills. So that's that's awesome. And that's all we want in life, to be able to pay our bills and be happy. So yeah, moisturized. I'm gonna do some makeup and some hair and I'll talk to you guys in a second. So I just did my hair and makeup and this is what I'm gonna wear for the brand deal I'm about to film. I know tights on top, so controversial, um, but it's way comfy. I'm gonna put like shorts on top. I'm gonna do a little bit of a warm up before I film my brand deal, just so I don't hurt myself because I'll be dancing a lot in said brand deal. So I'll take you guys with me while I do a little bit of a warm up. It's not gonna be a full ballet class by any means, just to warm up ankles and my feet and my body. And yeah, this Yumiko is in the shade. I have no idea. I'll have to Google it and put <laughs> the overlay here.
It was so nice to decorate the tree Sunday evening. It really got us in the holiday and festive spirit. We even made some hot chocolate to go along with our festivities. We listened to some Christmas tunes and overall the vibes were immaculate. It was so Christmassy, so festive, and we had a great Sunday evening together. I love taking my Sunday evenings to wind down before the beginning of the week so that I'm energized and prepared for the week to come, especially because this coming Monday I had an 8 a.m. appointment at the doctor's office, so I had to wake up pretty early. So we wound down pretty early after we decorated the tree and just kind of hung out and talked to one another, got to know one another. Even after dating for almost three and a half years, there's still so much to learn about your partner. After the doctor's appointment, I stopped by my mom's house because I was only a a two minute drive she literally lives right next to the doctor so that was kind of nice and I came to her house and smelled her homemade bread which smelled even more delicious than it looks guys oh my gosh I wish you guys could have smelled it you can probably smell it through the screen her house is also so beautifully decorated I always just get so much inspiration whenever I go to her house now I couldn't stay that long because I actually had to get some Christmas shopping done which I obviously can't show on here because I'm sure the people who I bought gifts for will either watch this stumble across this video. We're actually doing Secret Santa for Steve's family this year, so that'll kind of help with our budget a little bit, but also be a kind of fun new tradition to start. The holidays can be a really stressful time money-wise, so I really encourage you guys, if you find yourself stressed about money, to find new traditions that aren't as expensive as just gift giving. Besides, the holidays aren't just about receiving, they're about giving experiences, hanging out and spending quality time with your family and friends and making memories. So really try to implement some hashtag free things, but not free of fun memories and rich in fun moments. I don't know if that made any sense. I was trying to go somewhere, but I got lost and distracted because my cat is giving me kisses while I record this voiceover. Also, my mom gave us this beautiful white Christmas tree in which I decorated with our Squishmallows, but she also gave me some blue decorations, which I feel like went with the vibe of the house, especially this section with all the plants. The walls are blue, so I feel like it goes really nicely. I love the tree topper as well with a little bow. I wasn't quite sure if I should keep unraveling the ties at the end of the bow, but I think it looks really cute with little oil at the bottom. I'm also so unbelievably happy to have Nespresso back because now I can make my barista creations such as this gingerbread, gingerbread, gingerbread flavored Nespresso coffee. I like to froth my milk before because I feel like it kind of mixes better with the coffee. I know that's probably not correct, but you know what? That's my way. And plus look at how aesthetic it looks now. I put some cinnamon and nutmeg on top and then swirled it around, mixed it. And I found out that I didn't use enough coffee because I used too much milk. So I added some double espresso to up the ante of my caffeine intake for the day. Monday evening, I taught from two until nine, so I didn't really film an outro. Also, what do we think about the setup? It is Tuesday and I just finished my morning class. It's about 9.45 and I had an 8.30 a.m. till 9.30 class and then I have a class from 1 to 1.30 to 3 and then I'm in the studio from 4.30 till 6.45 and then I'm teaching online from 8 till 9 so I'm probably gonna close out the vlog here just because I'm not gonna be doing anything interesting other than editing stuff and doing admin work and then going to the studio and teaching all day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you wanna see next. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing and bye now.